occultus is a thriller uh, that wants to draw our attention on a group of students who has been locked in a classroom. This film is very ambiguous and a bit static, with a with an ordinary with a, with a very ordinary scenario. Um, the most interesting scene uh, was when the pro projector showed some pictures of the guys, and when the phone rang without any coverage. Um, the uh, according to me, the end of this film, uh, it isn't satisfactory and the key moment was when they decided to send some messages under the door. Um, the characters at the beginning, when they, when they discovered to, to, lock, to lock in, uh, in the classroom, um they was they were very they were very nervous uh while uh, while uh, then um they they were so scared uh so scary um, um about uh, suspense there is a bit uh, suspense uh, because the guys uh, didn't know, didn't didn't knew uh, what is happening uh, about uh, obstacles. About obstacles, uh, they can go out uh, of the classroom. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe because there is someone who is spying them. Um. Spying them. Um, um, speaking about acting uh, in the film, they didn't act in English. Uh, and there are some students in the rule of adults uh, as the administrators and the school keeper. Uh, this film uh, is um, is uh, fluent and uh, active, and uh, is fluent, uh, it's uh, fluent, active, and uh, quite uh, quite stylish. Um, the, our favorite actor uh, is the schoolkeeper because he's really, really, really funny. And the, actor, the actor's strong point uh, is, um, is the, um, the schoolkeeper that not, not it, not it, no, noticed uh, a strange drawing on the door of the classroom where the students uh, are looked in. Locked in. Um, all the students try to open the door and to get out of the classroom, but but they can mostly uh, recognize uh, the. Well, we can mostly uh, recognize the antagonist. Um, about the cultural heritage. Um, there isn't uh, too much uh, integration, and uh, and we like the, so much this uh, this film. Thank you very much. The French group is going to make the counter review. Great. I'm ready. Go. Yes. Um, for me, the main draw of this film is uh, fantasy, and he speak about uh, friend relation and relation at school. Um, is it's very artistic and it provokes scare. And this film is very thrilling and a bit confused. I think. Confusing. The strong point of this film is the editing, because it's good. Uh, what we love the most is a specific scene uh, when the projector um, show image because it's scared and there is blood. Uh, it's scared. <laughs> scary. 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 Okay, uh, for the best story, uh, the key moment is where the first time when the projector projects uh, images. 
uh, it's a fantastic film because nobody closed the doors or project images, but still they are closed. Um, the evolution of characters is emotional because at first they are like normal and then they're scared. So um, um, we think uh, the level of suspense is a lot because we don't know who the antagonist is. So uh, and uh, the end, um, we don't have any explanation about why they were trapped in the room. And that's like unsatisfactory. So uh, for the acting, um, they already said it, but uh, they uh, it was in Spanish, so it wasn't clear for us because it was supposed to be in English. Uh, for the actors, there were a group of protagonists and an antagonist we um, didn't know about the identity. Um, uh, young uh, students, young people made um, played the roles of adults. And for the director, it was uh, really realistic, I think, because the actress was serious and uh, it was realistic. But for the teacher, for example, it was less realistic. It didn't really work for us. So, yes. Um, the good technical choice for this film is the editing, I see. Because it's fast and it provokes suspense. Um, yes. And <laughs> it made me entertain. Um, we can't see a uh, cultural heritage, so it's not very good because they are in classroom and we can't see a uh, Cuenca. Cinema heritage? Um, but uh, there is um, a similarity with um, <laughs> similarity uh, with um, Stranger, Stranger Things, the series uh, in Netflix. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, girls. It's okay. The Meeting of Shadows, second film of Anone, so prepare your, uh, your abstracts. Uh, the first uh, to review is from Dansk, so Beata, is it okay? The film called The Mythic of Shadows, uh, in my opinion, is a horror film connected with drama and uh, it's about uh, religion issues uh, and uh, family, uh, family relations problems. Uh, and I think the film wants to scare us and uh, show that uh, the black magic is something we don't understand and uh, it can be dangerous. Uh, generally, the film is very thrilling and scary uh, and, uh, and a little bit confusing. Uh, and uh, uh, I would say the strong point of the film uh, is the filmmaking technique. And uh, what I love the most is the uh, family's uh, old house, uh, which is perfectly matched to this uh, film. Uh, and the plot of this film. Uh, what's next? Uh, the scenario is uh, thrilling, logic, and uh, a little bit confusing too. Uh, uh, and uh, the main conflict in this uh, film is that the boy wants to call spirits against the will of his parents. Uh, and the end of the uh, film uh, for me, it's very surprising and a little bit confusing, but uh, I think it uh, has a double meaning because uh, uh, perhaps he killed uh, his parents or her, perhaps his parents uh, are involved in black magic too. Uh, so we don't know. Uh, and uh, for me, the key moment in this film is uh, when uh, the boy hit the painting with knife and uh, if I can say that he killed the painting. 
Uh, and the uh, level of suspense is really high because uh, of soundtrack uh, and uh, dark atmosphere, uh, which is everywhere in this film. Uh, how about actors? Uh, I think the actors were very credible, stylish, and uh, they were expressing their emotions. Uh, and uh, their costumes uh, make uh, them more, even more uh, credible. And uh, my favorite character is the character of Father, uh, because he was uh, uh, he's really realistic and uh, he expresses his uh, uh, emotions very well. Uh, I think uh, the antagonist here is a main character and protagonists are uh, his parents. Uh, but the boy uh, thinks a different way, that uh, he is a protagonist and uh, the, his parents are antagonists. But at the end of the film, perhaps he realizes that he was a protagonist at all time. Uh, about filmmaking, I think uh, the strong point of the film, strong points of the film are uh, great shots, like uh, when the boy was running through the corridor. It was filming filming from a uh, level of uh, uh, floor, and uh, uh, I think two most remarkable scenes in this film are uh, when the boy uh, drops his candlestick, and it's a uh, slow motion because uh, it uh, creates a lot of tensions. Uh, and uh, the second one, when they uncovered the picture and uh, the camera is hidden under a curtain and uh, it looked like the picture uh, looking, uh, is looking at them. Uh, about uh, heritage, there are some uh, of culture, cultural heritage elements, uh, such as uh, buildings like an old church or uh, Gothic sub subculture. Uh, what we learned here is that the Gothic subculture depends mainly on, uh, 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 on the calling spirits. And my favorite uh, place in this film is uh, uh, the old house of family's house because uh, how, uh, as I said is perfectly matched to the film and that's all thank you thank you your your review was was really brilliant and my students loved loved it um, and your interpretations of the end are both correct uh, Cuenca for the same film please are you ready the, the movie is the meeting for Star. Regarding best film, the ah, genre are, uh, okay. Okay. The genres are horror and thriller, and the films are humanity. The strategy of the film is the argument with the parents when you are young. The film is very artistic, and the strong point is uh, the acting because it's very convincing. What we love the most is when the actors call the spirit in a circle in a, bad place, in a dark place. Regarding best story, the film is very fantastic and a bit scary. The conflict, uh, the conflict of the film are the relationship with the parents. The end is very shocking and the key moment is when he breaks the painting. Uh, and only the, uh, the parents think. Uh, there is some suspense um, because we don't detect the, uh, we don't detect the end of the film. And the object of the film uh, is uh, that he, he does what he wants and introduces himself to a dark world and of course the final. It introduces us the theme of the film. The essential no. <laughs> the final essence uh, that divides the world movie uh, regarding heritage. Uh, so you're going to make the review of the light. Uh, the film is from Andresa, the light. And the principal genre is history and love. Uh, and the strategy is... The review of the light is uh, the group of Nelly in Sofia. 
The science fiction historical movie The Light is trying to tell the myth or the story of the building of the um, canal. Our jury find the movie extremely engaging and educating with a, with a strong point, point at the technique and the heritage shown. What we loved the most about this movie was the technical aspect. The colors of the overall shots were strategically used. Uh, the, the overall cinematography techniques were impressive and the shooting locations were beautiful. Um, uh, the scenario was very informative and yet uh, creatively engaging so th that it wasn't dull seeming. Um, the end was very satisfying since we got to see that the canal was uh, allowed to be built and um, we really appreciated the positive evolution of characters. Uh, the character being the Pope, allowing the canal to be built and changing his mind. Um, everything was very cl clearly identifiable. The tension points were conveyed naturally and with ease. It was very convincing to us and we related to the characters. Um, the Actors were fluent, clear, and presented with and presented the characters with logic. Um, the acting was very touching, emotive, and expressive. We found it very alive and dynamic, and we found the stylizing and the costuming overall of the characters very um, charming and um, fitting to the scenes. Our favorite actor was uh, the actor of the architect because he conveyed the character extremely convincingly and we went on a mission with him all the way through. Uh, his strong points were clarity and intention and the confidence in which he portrayed the character. Um, the roles and what they portray are very easily identifiable by their writing and by the presentation of the actors. Uh, the film <laughs> the filmmaking part. Um, my favorite part of the technical aspect of the movie was the use of color and lighting techniques. Lighting was used to convey um, dy uh, dynamic situations and to uh, fit suspense into the scene and the use of color was amazing because when um, when the movie was in its happy ending, the colors were warm, but when the suspense was high rising, the tones were cool. So that I found that really impressive. Um, the scene that had the most impact on our jury was the scene with the protesting stock. Um, it was very convincing. It was shot by our, in a remarkable angle. The colors were very fitting and the costuming and overall um, placement of everything and the scene around it was just amazing. Well, we thought it fit the narrative really well. Uh, the cultural heritage part was conveying very strong. We learned a lot about the history of the building of the canal. And um, on the nature shots were also very beautiful. Um, about the cinematic heritage, the shot with the thief and the um, stealing of the money from the poor people reminded us heavily of um, Robin Hood. Hood? Hood? I don't know. <laughs> And um, members of our jury insisted that the light conveying God uh, reminded of the bad signal, which we think is funny. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. So the next film is My Precious. So prepare your abstracts. Klinka is starting uh, whenever you want. So the movie is My Precious. And the dominant genders are documentary and drama, and the themes are communication and meditation. And the strategy of the film are human issues and strategic issues, because the film shows the current situation.
Un jour. Euh, Anonay Tim. Ok, so this film is a film of adventure and science fiction too, because there is a special effect. Uh, it's about friendship, about finding Luca. Um, it's um, quite artistic, actually very artistic because of the decor and the imagine images that um, appears. And uh, during the video conference, um, it's a bit confusing because they speak a lot, so it's difficult to follow sometimes. Um, it's really realistic. We all liked uh, the technique, uh, the technical aspect, um, because of the special effect. Our favorite uh, scene is when Luca uh, falls from the sky, and uh, that special effect is what we really liked on this film. Um, for the for the jury, oh, for the jury, uh, this uh, film is really dynamic, uh, but a little bit confused. So for us, uh, the conflict is when the teacher asks two people if they did their homework. And um, for, for us, at the end, the end is satisfactory, uh, is satisfactory uh, because the decors are beautiful and, uh, the, and moving. So for us, uh, the key moment in uh, where is and where Luca is falling of the sky, because it's really comic. Uh, we think uh, that uh, there is an, a character evolution, because uh, at the beginning uh, the teacher, um, the teacher seems to be the antagonist, and uh, at the end. Uh, she excused uh, the students. Um, we can identify some of, uh, we can identify some obstacles. Uh, for example, um, when uh, Vito fall off his bike. Uh, for the acting, it's a very fluent, active, and dynamic when they tell the story. Um, our favorite character is Luca, uh, because when he arrives, he brings uh, happiness and peace with his big smile, so uh, we liked him. Uh, so, for, uh, for the jury, uh, the best technical point is uh, editing, because it's different of, uh, of, uh, every, of all the other films. So we have a video conference, okay. and uh, the scene, uh, the, remark yeah. the remarkable scene uh, we have chosen is at the end when we see uh, the beautiful monuments and the sea, and it's really beautiful. Heritage, uh, So there is a big integration of the cultural heritage. Uh, we see we see the street of. Uh, of the city, the food, typical food, um, the sea, and the monuments, of, uh, where, which are so from the sky, so it's really beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the necklace of the round table, reviewed by Manresa. In my opinion, in our opinion, uh, the necklace of the round table, it, it the genre is historical and it has uh, action. And we can see a little bit of strategic issues where well, we have history in there. And we think that it wants to transmit like more an artistic way, um, teach maybe the, the history of the necklace. Um, uh, it's very entertaining, the film, and it's we, th we think that it is long and maybe uh, it could uh, short. We, we, we could cut um, some scenes where they were running 
and escaping from the tips. Uh, the, uh, I would say too that uh, it's, it has a lot of strong points, uh, but the most uh, strength points are uh, scenario and acting. And we, what we loved the most was the place, the object decorations, uh, mainly the, the threads of what, what the girl was dressing, like the dress was very well uh, and very thin. So. In the best story aspect, uh, the global scenario was perfect and we liked a lot of uh, the settings, but uh, we thought uh, you all could be more careful uh, with details because we saw some details, they weren't from the historical epoch. And the end was, it made a lot of sense and it was clear and the ending was satisfactory. We thought the key moment was when they entered the theater because they have time and they distracted the thieves. The characters were a little bit a stereotype, but we think they are they were they were well developed, and they were the acting was really good. Uh, we thought there was some suspense, and the obstacle, the challenge, the and the antagonist are very clear, and it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Uh, the acting. Uh, in my opinion, they were very clear and they were fluent. Uh, it's, they were expressive, uh, dynamic, and they were beautiful. The, the, the dresses, the, the trades, as I said, it was very well. Uh, our favorite actor was Arthur. Uh, I think he's very empathic because he helped the girl when he didn't know who she And he had, he, he, uh, he acts very um, lightly, and he's clear and fluent too. Um, we can see too that, well, that, that they are very fluent, expressive, um, and I think that the, 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 at the street, yeah. Uh, from the filmmaking aspect, uh, there was there were a variety of shots and camera movements, and they were all so smooth. The sound was also great, and we would like to highlight two scenes that they were the scenes where they are running uh, for the thieves. They they showed a lot of variety of streets, which was great. And the second scene we would like to highlight was the theater scene when they are escaping from the thieves and they enter and they dress up as the people uh, who were in the theater to don't contact, point out. And the cultural heritage, we can see some streets that were very uh, thin, some church, or a church, and the objects were thin too. And you can see some cultural heritage, so it it was a little bit informative about that, so yeah, that's all. Thanks. I think uh, for uh, the necklace of the round table. Uh, our team is the necklace of the round table. Uh, the winners are teaching and drama. The teams are strategic issues and creative issues. The strategy is very artistic because the show uh, is so emotional. The film is very tragic and funny. Uh, the film is a bit scary. Okay, the final film to be reviewed is A Piece of Heaven, the second film from Sofia, and uh, the French team is going to start. Um, this film is a documentary about uh, Bulgaria and uh, uh, the nature we can find in Bulgaria. So for the jury, this film is really beautiful and um, uh, show really uh, the cultural heritage. Uh, what we love the most in the, the in the film is a place. So uh, in reality, uh, it's a nature with mountains, la lakes, um, and everything. So 
this scenario is realistic and moving, but we can't identify a conflict. So, uh, there are no key moments into these films. Uh, oh, uh, yes, uh, when the when they see the, the Bulgarians are strong, uh, uh, also physically, um, and that's it. Okay. So, um, for the acting, uh, this is really stylish and beautiful with a mask, for example, but uh, with uh, there are no particular actors, so we can't identify one. Uh, but we like uh, the voice because it is calm and beautiful, uh, soft also. Uh, maybe we can identify a protagonist. We can think that Bulgaria is a protagonist. And uh, the, other, uh, the other countries are the antagonists. In this film, the real strong point for me is the image um, with the drone because they are so beautiful and the editing is very professional. Our favorite scene is the, um, is the scene where the traditional event, we can see the colors of, um, uh, of uh, costumes uh, create a contrast with the snow. Um, in this film, there are a lot of heritage. We can see the mountain and we learn the traditional um, aspects. Uh, of traditional aspects. Aspect mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, Bulgaria. Um, our favorite, favorite place is uh, in the mountain because it is uh, very beautiful. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Final group to go through is Manresa. You ready, girls? So the main genre is a documentary, as they say. And we think it touches all the issues because it talks about environment, traditions, costumes. The strategy of the film is pure artistic and it's like a trailer to Bulgaria. So it, it introduces you to the country and its traditions. Uh, we think the, the film is very informative because it teaches you a lot of things. But it can be a little bit confusing because as we don't speak Bulgarian, so we don't really know, uh, we don't understand it at 100% and you have to be reading always. Uh, we think that the, the strong point of the movie was the heritage shown because it showed all types of heritage. And we, what we loved the most was the technical aspect, the movements and the camera, which we'll, we will talk about it later. And we think we has a good sound, good shots, and it's sophisticated. Um, well, uh, there is a story, we can't talk about story because there isn't a story, um, but it has a very clear structure and uh, adult, cause it, there isn't a story, we can evaluate them. Um, but we want to point out the language uh, because when I was taking notes of the, of the, tri of the documentary, I got lost a lot of times because I don't speak Bulgarian, so I didn't understand it. In the acting um, review, uh, we can't really uh, analyze the characters because there, there are no actors, no characters, but the voice in the, of the narrator seems clear and confident, but we can't really evaluate it because we don't speak Bulgarian, but the subtitles were clear, and that's all about this. Story. Uh, the technical choice, uh, the camera shots, the movement, the lighting was very well. Uh, but I believe that they didn't feel anything, I, everything, sorry. Because uh, there were some shots of the room where were very difficult for teenagers as us. So maybe they didn't film all the, all the scenes. Uh, but the script was great, and the song was great too. The narrator speak very well, so yeah. Uh, when we talk about the heritage show, it was perfect. It showed a lot all the kinds of 
heritage available, nature, buildings, people, traditions, costumes. And we think it's one of the most uh, strong points in this documentary. And it makes uh, Bulgaria seem like a beautiful place. And that's all. Well, what a job. So we made it through.